Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be giving you an update on two ongoing projects I've been featuring on this channel, the Subasharu Rally Cross Build and the Jeep Cherokee Crawler. In this video I'm going to be adding some more custom details to both vehicles and discussing some future plans. Let's start with the Subasharu. I introduced this build a couple weeks ago. It's a Colt 2007 Subaru Impreza WRC body mounted on a custom 3D printed all-wheel drive Rallycross chassis. If you missed that video, I'll include a link to it down below in the description. In that video, I painted the body and mounted it to the chassis. With the body mounted how I want it, I'm ready to start adding some more details to give the car a more realistic appearance. But before I do that, I want to change the upper shock mounts on the chassis. The mounts I'm installing are lower, causing the shocks to apply more pressure to the lower control arms, which will help stiffen the suspension. With the new shock mount installed, the suspension is now stiffer and responds more quickly. The white base coat is visible around the edge of the body. To remove this, I use some sandpaper to sand around all the edges to remove the paint and use a little bit of rubbing alcohol to remove any paint on the outside of the body. As you can see, the edge looks much cleaner after being sanded. The masking stickers for the lights left quite a bit of residue behind. To remove this, I used a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a cotton swab to quickly and easily remove any leftover residue or unwanted paint that got underneath the masking. A micro brush like this works well for smaller areas. I'm going to be installing functional lights onto this vehicle. I'm using this relatively generic light kit that you can find on eBay, RC Mart, and many other retailers. I accidentally messed up some of the paint on the headlight and taillight pieces by touching them before the paint had a chance to fully cure, so I'm going to either lightly sand them and apply another coat of paint, or strip them completely and repaint them. Before I do that, it's a good opportunity to make the holes for the LED lights to fit into. I used a reamer to make the holes so it's just large enough for the LED to fit through, and once I've repainted the light assemblies, I'll simply glue the LEDs in place. I will need to add two red 5mm LEDs to the circuit for the tail lights since I need a total of four brake lights and this kit only includes two. I printed this offset for the lower grille. I'm using 1.6mm aluminum contour mesh which I simply glue to the back side of the offset using super glue. Once the mesh is glued in place, I cut off the excess and glue the assembly onto the front bumper. Yeah. 
I used the same mesh for the upper grill sections as well. Although I think this mesh does look a little bit too thin for this grill, I still prefer this over using the included stickers. I also printed out these custom inner fender pieces. I glued them to the inside of the body using super glue, and once the super glue fully cures, I add a thicker adhesive like shugu to the outer edge and any cracks between the inner fender and the body to help further secure them in place. I really like the look of these inner fenders, and I think it adds a lot to the overall appearance. I applied the included door handle stickers to the body. I didn't do a great job at lining some of them up, but overall I think they look pretty decent. I designed and printed a rear diffuser and tailpipe I plan on painting and installing onto this car, along with some other accessories to help give this car a more realistic appearance. So that's all for the Subasharu. Aside from the paint getting a little messed up by the body mounts, I'm pretty happy with how this car is turning out. I do plan on test driving this car in the near future, so we'll see how this car performs as is and see what things need to be done to improve the performance. So now let's have a look at the Jeep. If you've been following this channel, you'll have seen this crawler in several previous videos. It's a Proline Jeep Cherokee body mounted on a 3D printed chassis with aluminum axles and transmission. I've been putting some miles on this crawler and I'm really happy with the performance and reliability of this vehicle. I'm also liking how this Jeep is looking. Dropping the ride height and adding the inner fenders really help to improve this crawler's appearance, and now I want to add a few more accessories. I designed and printed this roof rack a little while back, and I think it looks great on top of the Jeep. After sanding it to help smooth the surface, I applied a few coats of primer. I wanted to give this a rough powder coated look. I used some Model Masters classic black enamel paint and mixed it with a bit of sand and brushed the mixture on the roof rack. The result looked okay, but the grains of sand looked a bit too big. So after the paint dried, I ended up sanding it down a bit and sprayed a few coats of paint on it to smooth out the surface. This improved the texture, but it still seemed a bit too lumpy and the additional coats of paint caused some of the detail of the part to be lost. And the paint looks far glossier than what I wanted. Because of this, I'm going to print another roof rack and paint it with a flat black and no added texture, and then I'll compare the two parts and see which one I prefer. I also printed out some trim pieces to run along a body line that runs down the side of the Jeep. I really like the design, but once again I'm a little bit disappointed with the paint, so I'm going to print some more and try a different paint color. Oh, 
I wanted to paint black over the white base coat that's visible from the edge of the inner fenders to the edge of the body. I masked everything off that I didn't want painted and sprayed the section black. After the paint dried, I removed the masking tape and sanded any paint that accumulated on the edge. And I touched up the sections I missed with a brush. Ideally, I wanted to use more of the black plasti dip in this section like I did with the inner fenders, but I was all out of it, so I used some durable black enamel paint that I had lying around instead, and once again, I feel like it looks a bit too glossy for an undercarriage, but I'll take semi-gloss black in that section over base coat white any day. It definitely looks better after painting that section. And that is all for the Jeep. A bit of a two steps forward, one step back situation as far as the accessories go, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Anyways, I want to thank you all for watching and subscribing. I'm glad so many of you guys are enjoying the videos, and all the support and constructive feedback you've been giving is greatly appreciated. This upcoming week I've got part 3 of the budget drift build coming out, and hopefully another video as well, but I can't make any guarantees beyond that. So if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and be sure to follow me at the social media links down below in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.